So patterns are here. We've got a few types of patterns. We have a linear pattern, we have a circular pattern. And those should be pretty familiar to anyone that's done CAD before. Um, we have curve driven, which we're not going to talk about today. Um, we have sketch driven, we have fills. We'll kind of talk about those different ones today. Um, we'll talk about mirror in a little bit. So a linear pattern, we start out, it asks us what direction do we want. Do these directions have to be perpendicular? Like in AutoCAD, you, you do rows and columns. Do we have to do that here? What do you guys think? Do they have to be perpendicular? No. It could be this edge and that edge. So I can pattern direction one being that, direction two being that. This button here flips its flip with, flips which way it's going. So you can kind of see the little arrows. You can see the little arrow there and there. So I flip that, it has to go that way. Now that's from the features. You want to pattern that. Now you can tell it the spacing. I want to go 0.2 on that direction. I want to ready to three of them. And on that spacing, I want there to be four. And there, 0.2. There you go, I want two. So I can just do them, and then they're not going to have to go necessarily x and y. It's whichever two edges you pick. That'll set the angles. Also, skip one. So if I don't want this one right here, I can just go to instances to skip, and then pick on that one, takes it off. Or I don't want that middle one. Maybe I'm going to do something else right there, and just take that one off. And then say okay, put some in. If I can do the same thing just on one axis too. I can just pick. That axis. Well, I want five things spaced half an inch. Features that and that. And sometimes it gets kind of hard to pick your features off of off the model. So now you can't really get to the features you want. So if you come up here, you notice my browser kind of sticks out into my window now. So if I click on the plus, I can see my history. Now I can go down and pick that and that. So you can actually pick your objects off your history here instead of having to pick it on the model. So especially if you're doing cuts, sometimes it's hard to, to click on a cut. Um, so, but you can always get it off of the browser. Especially if you have a set of things that you want to do all together. I can say okay and put those in. The circular pattern. What's, what do you think that top one is? It's asking me for the axis, so I'll pick axis there. And because I have this still selected, it's wanting to pattern that thing again. So I'm just going to delete that. It's not what I want to pattern. I want to pattern that. That. And the way it's working is it's wanting to know the angle between them and how many there are. Or I can tell it the total number equals spacing and the angle. There I want to do that. I'll just go back to this pattern. Make that a little shorter. So I touch more. And again, here I can skip once so I can sell it. No, I don't really want that one right there. Put it in. Okay? Quick 
questions on those two?